Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Teams video. In this video we're going to be having a look at how we can make sure that people are being invited as attendees and receiving a email invite through meeting in channels. Working with some customers recently we come to realize that when they're doing a meeting channel option not everyone was being sent an email invite to that meeting. So we can check within Office 365 at how that process works. So let's take a little dive in now and take a look at how we can make sure that we are including everyone within our meeting invites when we meet in a channel. So here we are in my calendar in Teams. What I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule my new meeting and I'm going to put it into my channel. So I go to my new meeting and then I put in my usual title of my meeting. I could put in a start date. So this is going to be on nine o'clock on Friday. I'm going to put a repetition on this and have this so it repeats weekly. So every Friday we've got our weekly catch up. Rather than having to constantly set one of these up and maybe email people out with their, their invite, having to put them in individually within the required attendees, I could meet in a channel. Go to my add channel option. I can then select my channel from this option. So I'm going to choose my communications channel. And this is going to arrange my meeting in my channel space in my team. The thing I don't know though is, is this going to send an email invite to people within my team? I'm not quite sure, so I'm going to have to check. By default, this might be set, or you might have to set it yourself depending on whether this setting is in your Office 365 tenant. So for us to have a look, we can't actually look within the Microsoft Teams application. We need to go behind the scenes and have a quick look at the Office 365 group that is attached to our team. To do that, I'd go to my usual website of office.com to access Office 365. I'd go into my app launcher and to my people app. It might not be showing, so you might need to go into all apps to access it. I'd go to my people app and then from within here, I'm able to have quick access to my Office 365 groups. Because I'm an owner of my team, I'm able to go into here and then I can see the settings around the Office 365 group. So if I go to my owner section of my groups here, and then if I go to my team, which is here, my Contoso one, and then I can get an overview of the Office 365 group attached to my team. If I click on the three little dots for more options in my team, and then go into edit the group. In this area, I can see whether my group now has that setting that is ticked for send all group conversations and events to members inboxes. If this option is ticked, then it's going to send out an invite to everyone that is a part of my team and it will arrive in their inbox and they can accept or decline the meeting request and it will add it to their calendar as a normal meeting would. Sometimes though, you might not see that Office 365 group within our groups area in the People app. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a workaround to find our Office 365 group. What we can do is in Microsoft Teams, if I just come out of my meeting and go into my team, so I go into my team here and maybe this public services team, I want to do the same thing here. If I go behind the scenes to view my SharePoint area, so I go to my general channel, go to my files location and then open in SharePoint, it's going to take me to that SharePoint site that is attached to my team. The reason I want to do this is because I need to find the actual name of my team. So not the name that's displayed in Microsoft Teams, but the name that's attached to the SharePoint site and also the Office 365 group. If I look at my web address at the top here, I can see that it's got my domain .sharepoint, which is showing me it's on the SharePoint site. I've got the sites section here, which is showing me that it's accessing sites. And then I've got the name of my SharePoint site, so my team. I can copy that name and I can go to my people app. When I'm in the groups area, I can see in my web address for this, it's showing me it's in Outlook, it's in the People app, it's accessing groups in my domain, and then at the very end, it has the information, which is the name of my group, so my name of my team. If I delete that and then paste in that name that I've copied from that SharePoint site, press enter, then it's going to show me the Office 365 group that is associated to this team. So I'm able now to click on the three little dots for more options in this group and click on the edit group. From here, I can then see this group doesn't have that option ticked. So if I did set up a channel meeting in here, then the members of my team 
wouldn't get that email notification. If I tick this box, then they're going to receive that email notification. So hopefully you can see the advantages there of enabling that tick box and then having it so when you do arrange these channel meetings that people do receive the email invites. This can be done behind the scenes by an Office 365 administrator, but you as an owner of a team have the ability to go in and change these settings yourself. Thank you very much guys for joining me on this video.